So as I was scrolling through my daily wish list, looking for items to make money off of and make content for you guys, I noticed that thumb drives were absolutely through the roof. So I got to thinking, what in the heck would cause this? This isn't normal. These aren't here. And that's when I stumbled into Jaeger and realized that his barters have been changed almost wholesale. There's been a bunch added and some of them even moved around. So let's dive into these and look around so you're up to date on where Jaeger's at and what kind of value you can get out of his barters. So first things first, I've got kind of a cruddy head cold right now. Uh, I'm drinking tea, trying to get through it. Hopefully we'll be back to normal for too much longer. Otherwise you'll just kind of have to put up with the shitty voice for now. All right, so I dug through Jaeger and I tried to find anything that changed outside of Barters. It doesn't look like anything did, but I don't have everything unlocked yet because I don't have all of his tasks done. But barter wise, we will dive into the big things that are important. Starting at loyalty level one, uh, the first thing they added was this TAC 30 scope. So at loyalty level one, so literally at level two now, you can get a TAC 30 scope, uh, attach it with this 30 millimeter mount using barters and nothing else. And then after that is the Vepper Hunter. Um, this is kind of a cool barter. So now when you get hunters out of raid, the scav hunters, you know, that are screwed up and have horrible durability and aren't accurate for anything, you can now trade them for a brand new clean one. Two of those will get you a Vepper Hunter that is 100% durability. I would try to keep a third one so you can swap the stocks and parts out so you're not hunting for that stuff as well. Uh, but two of them for a Hunter Vepper. And then lastly, this one here, uh, three thumb drives for a dog tag case. And this is where the thumb drives went through the roof on us. But a dog tag case sells for about 195K to therapist. So that's gonna drive thumb drive prices up because you can do one of these barters. You can get three thumb drives for like 60K, turn those in, sell it to therapist, make a little bit of money. But it also means now your found in raid ones, um, non-found in raid ones, the ones that get into your secure container are worth about 60K a piece. So make sure you're putting those in your secure container if you find them, because if you get three of them, they're worth 190K right here with this barter. At level two, they added the serve 12 kit barter. Uh, this is now a vase, so that's good. It gives you a chance to get your serve kits um, without having to buy them off the flea market before you're level 20. And then grizzlies, another access to grizzlies before level 20 with the wooden clock, which was useless before. Now, if you're not level 20, I would definitely be bringing this thing out of raid uh, as it's access to probably one of the pre best meds pre flea market. Another really cool one they added is the M700. Now, Deadly Slobs Beard Oil is going to be pretty hard to get a hold of on a consistent basis without the flea market. But if you're building M700s, this is going to be just about your cheapest way to get one right now. Because if you go look, uh, we'll go look at 100% durability M700s. Um, you know, you're talking 40, 50K, whereas Deadly Slobs Beard Oil sells for about 30, 35. And then lastly, the 6B15 uh, armor, uh, three soaps, or toilet papers. This is kind of a remnant of an old barter that used to be in with Ragman that they took out, but it's class four ceramic. Uh, it's pretty good early on in the wipe. It's better now than running class three. Plus it gives you a chance to run a rig. Uh, I'll let you decide if you want to run it or not, um, but it's not too bad of a barter. Now at loyalty level three, they added the Tory Pines Logic T12 Thermal Reflex Site. So this is that thermal reflex site. It's not very good. If you want to run it, here's access to it. It costs you one moonshine to get. The big one though is the Ollie Logistics Key. Now we're probably gonna see this have an effect on some of the prices of these, I think we'll see. But more importantly now, you're not dependent on RNG to get this task done. You can come in here, get this key and move forward with that task without having to spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of rubles on a key just for one, uh, one raid. And then lastly, they moved the sick case to level four. It's not on three anymore. It used to be three. Now it's level four right here. Uh, but they also at level four added a thick case barter. Um, which is weapon cases and ammo cases, and a weapon case barter, which is pistol cases and fuel. This has caused the price of pistol cases to go up quite a bit, as well as the price of ammo to go up quite a bit. And I think it's affected fuel. It's kind of hard to see. It spikes sometimes, but uh, we'll watch this for the next couple of days. It's made these blue fuels quite a bit more valuable, but keep in mind that you can use burned blue fuels for this barter as well. Uh, so it's there for you. And then one last little tidbit, if you didn't know, uh, not really anything to do with this video, but I wanted to give you the information anyways. They have removed water from Therapist. This is part of the event, I'm assuming. It, it'll probably come back eventually, I hope, uh, but there's no water on Therapist now. So just one other change they made today on Friday. So uh, I hope this finds you well, and I wish you the best of luck in Tarkov. We'll see you out there.